In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you haven't already, download this quick reference. On the outside is the scoring. On the inside is the Aku table. And we're going to talk a lot about it during this game. If you download this, you can follow along. I'll do my best to explain what's going on at the table. Also, there's links in the video description to a tutorial by Hana Yuriuta. It's pretty lengthy, but it is worth watching. There's also a primer by Dinah Chiba and a book by Scott Miller. These are all fantastic resources, so I encourage you to look into them. Richie Mahjong is a lot of fun to play. It's very challenging because it's very strategic. With that being said, if you want to try playing at Mahjong time, I do have some 30-day VIP codes Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a 30-day code so you can try it out. It's a wonderful place to practice as you're learning how to play Richie Mahjong. Let's go live. We're live. In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie. So you can follow along. Look for a link to this quick reference in here is the scoring table. It's called a Yaku table. These are all the scoring elements. You gotta have at least one to qualify to win. When we're playing Richie Mahjong tonight, I want to focus on primarily not dealing in. The last time I played, I came in second. I didn't win. I think I won one game. But I didn't deal in at all, so I got second place, but won only one time. So let's see if we focus on, of course, winning. We want to try to win, but I think the emphasis is on defense. You don't want to deal in, so I want to try to focus on that. Hi, Marnie. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing Japanese Mahjong, also known as Ryichi. Let's see if there's anybody on. Oh, yes, we have players. I'm going to go ahead and join a table because it may take a while for players to join. Let's hope that we have enough players for the live stream. Hi, Evelyn, welcome. So, Marnie and Evelyn, have you played Richie Mahjong yet? If you haven't already, Look for a link in the video description below so you can download this quick reference and follow along. This is where all the scoring is. You have to have at least one Yaku to win. I don't know if you missed my introduction, but tonight I want to try to focus on not discarding a winning tile. It's called dealing in. I don't want to deal in. So I want to see if I can train myself to be a little more aware of what other people are playing, what is in their discard pile, and discard safely, even if that means I don't win. So we'll, we'll need to wait and see if we can get some players at the table. So I do want to practice being ready to win in six discards, but if that means discarding a risky tile, I may break up my hand. Tonight's goal, don't deal in. We'll see how it goes. So Marnie and Evelyn, do you have any questions about Japanese Mahjong? It's based on the same fundamentals as Hong Kong Mahjong, where you need four blocks and a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence, or three of a kind, and of course four of a kind, because there's four of every tile. Three in a sequence is called a chi, C-H-I-I. -I. Three of a kind is called a pon, P-O-N. A four of a kind is called a con, K-A-N. Chi, pon, con. Okay. No questions from Evelyn. All right, well, along the way, if you have any questions, let me know. 
Richie Mahjong is a much more strategic game. You do not want to discard the winning tile because you pay for the table. If you discard the winning tile, you pay for everybody at the table. Well, it's not similar at all to American Mahjong. In an American Mahjong game, when a player wins by discard, everybody pays, but the discarder pays double. In Richie Mahjong, the discarder pays triple and nobody else pays. Hefty, hefty penalty for discarding the winning tile. So I really want to focus on not discarding the winning tile, which means that you need to be aware of exposures and discards. In Richie Mahjong, if a player discards a tile, they cannot win by discard with that tile. So if something happens during the game that changes their plan and they in the end need that tile to win, they can only win by self-pick. So if you discard tiles that have been already discarded in the player's discard piles, then that tile will be safe. So you have uh, situa situational awareness is key in Richie Mahjong, more so than any other version. Okay, so let's see here. Marnie's reading the scoring elements. Okay, very good. Hi, Laura. Welcome to the live stream. I'm glad you made it. Uh, let's see. Evelyn says, was thinking about the Ricci uh, terminology. I'm going to do my best to say both the Ricci term and the English term. And I may get the pronunciation wrong, so give me some grace there. Because I, I've only played in person a handful of times and so I don't have very many opportunities to be corrected with my pronunciations. I mentioned in the introduction that there's a video by a guy named Hana Yuri Uta where he goes through all the Yaku table. The Yaku are the scoring elements and he says the Ricci terminology and pronounces them. I need to watch that again so that I can practice the pronunciation. Let's see, Evelyn says Pung and Kong. Okay, so Pung and Kong are Hong Kong Mahjong or Cantonese Mahjong term terms. For Ricci Mahjong, it's Pon, P-O-N, and Kan, K-A-N. Pon and Kan. But there's also a Chi. Chi, C-H-I-I, is three in a sequence. Three in a sequence. So you can do three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind. Chi, pon, con, respectively. And then we have lots of other situations <laughs> that can happen in a game that really differentiate Richie Mahjong. One is that if a player is ready to win and they are concealed, they can declare Ricci, which means they're ready to win. They put out a wager, a thousand point stick. And if they win, that in and of itself is a Yaku or a scoring element. Ricci is a Yaku scoring element. And if you win be by your next pick, then you get another Yaku called Double Ricci or Daburu Ricci. And that's another Yaku. So all these Yakus can stack. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them can stack. And you can end up with some really good score. Another rule that differentiates Ricci Mahjong is a rule called Furitin. Furitin. Fur Furitin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Furitin. Furitin. I don't know. I've got to watch that. Hana Yuri Uta video again. Anyway, Furitan. We're just going to call it Furitan, okay, for the sake of moving on. Furitan is along the lines of your discard pile when I was explaining it before, where if you discard a tile, you cannot win by discard for that tile. That is called Furitan. There's also a temporary Furitan. Let's say a player at the table discards a two crack, and I need that two crack for. Uh, uh, let's say to win and I miss it for some reason I'm not paying attention or what have you I can I am temporary furitan because I missed it 
in that same go round. When that player discards again, then the, that temporary Furiton is removed. So you have to be very aware and intentional with your decisions with Richie Mahjong. So we have the Yaku table with all the scoring elements. We have Grichi to consider if you're concealed. Then you also have the Furiton rule. And the Furiton rule is can be really tricky when it comes to cheese, the three in a sequence, especially if you're playing something called Pinfu. Pinfu is a very popular Yaku. It's all cheese, all three in a sequence. And one of the requirements for that particular hand is you have to have what's called a side weight. A side weight would be where you can win on a tile in a chi where you have the two middle tiles ready to go. So for example, a three, four. You can win on a two crack, let's say, or a five crack with a three, four crack. That's called a side weight. So let's say that earlier in the game, you discarded a two crack. That chi then is furiton for the rest of the game. You will not be able to win by discard on a two crack or a five crack because you discarded a three crack or a two crack earlier in the game. So you have to be forward thinking. You have to be very intentional with your discards. And this is one reason why Richie Mahjong is popular and very challenging and more difficult comparatively to the other versions of Mahjong. Let me know if anybody has any questions because I know that's a lot. But I thought I would explain it all since we're waiting at the table anyway. So if you have any questions about anything I just shared, let me know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you should know about Richie Mahjong. Oh, Dora, that's another differentiator. There are no flowers played in Richie Mahjong, even though the set comes with flowers. They're, they're omitted from the game. I suppose some people might include them as bonus tiles, but typically you will not see them played in Richie Mahjong. I think they're really used just to fill the box. So when the tiles are built in walls, East will roll the dice to determine where to break the wall. And the wall is broken, and at that time, a con wall is created so that when you draw, or when you have a pwn or a pwn, three of a kind, and it turns into a con, let's say you pick it, uh, and you have an exposed pwn out, if you pick that fourth tile, you can convert it to a four of a kind or con. Anytime you have a con, you need to get a replacement tile from the con wall. The con wall will have four tiles set aside for cons, four of a kind. But there's also, after the con tiles, the top tile is flipped, and that is called the door indicator. That tile is special. The next tile in order is going to give you an extra bonus Han. This is not a qualifier, though. You still have to have a Yaku on the, in the Yaku table. Dora is extra. It's like a bonus score. So if you have the next tile up in order in your hand, you get an extra Han that increases the value of your hand. So let's say that the Dora indicator is a one dot. The next tile in order is a two dot. So two dot is Dora. If you have a two dot in your winning hand, you get an extra Han for that for every instance of a two dot. And then every time a player declares a con, another Dora indicator is flipped. You can have up to four con in a game. So it can get pretty interesting and surprising sometimes. We'll see if any of that comes into the game so that we can make an example of it. So let's see, Marnie has a question. On the scoring sheet, there is a Han column and the column next to it has an X in it. What does that represent? Okay, X means that you can claim a discard to make an exposure 
and complete a block. If there's a C, that's concealed. It has to be concealed. So for example, all cheese, pinfu, the very first yaku under all sequences or cheese, that whole hand is concealed. There's a C there. So the next one, pure double chi, that's also concealed. Under that, we have mixed triple chi. There's an X there. So you can claim discards and make exposures or melds to complete those blocks. So that's what the X and the C stand for. X and C. And the Yaku table on this quick reference is divided based on my own understanding of the scoring elements. Some people might arrange it a little differently, but this is the way my mind works, and so I divided it in this fashion. The cheese are together, the pones and cons are together, whole hand, meaning that you could have a mixture of cheese and pones, and then uh, in, uh, the predominant pattern or whole hand is going to rule there. For example, all simples, which are two through eight, or half flesh, which is one suit with any combination of winds and dragons. Then we have terminals and honors. Terminals are ones and nines. Honors are winds and dragons. And then the last section is how you win the game. So the number of scoring elements is fairly limited, actually, but there's still a lot of complexity in the game, primarily because of the Furiton rule and the emphasis on defensive play. Hi Trish, welcome to this live stream. We're playing Richie Mahjong. We got two players at the table, black belts. I'm an underdog here. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. So we're waiting for one more player, and then we'll start. We haven't played yet, Trish, so you really haven't missed much. I've just been explaining some of the differentiators for Richie Mahjong compared to other versions. We're waiting for one more player, and then we'll get started. My focus tonight is going to be to not deal in or discard the winning tile. So I'm going to be very mindful of players discards because if a player discards a tile they cannot win with that discard later in the game this is why you need to be very intentional when you play Richie Mahjong so if we get one more player we'll get started I will keep an eye on chat so if you have any questions write them in caps that way I can find them quickly if I have to scroll through chat because I'm going to be playing the game and checking chat back and forth and I might miss a question. And if anybody hasn't tried Mahjong Time yet, send me an email. My email is in the video description below. I can send you a 30-day code so you can try it out. I really think it's the best place to play online. We're waiting for one more player. If you have an account at Mahjong Time and you know how to play Richie Mahjong, log in and come and play so we can get the game going. Hopefully we'll be able to play a few rounds. If East wins, they retain dealer and the game can go on and on. So it's not where like a marathon for American Mahjong where you play four games and it's over in an hour. The game can go on and on depending on how well East does as dealer. Trish says she has an account but she's intimidated. That's okay. If you have an account and you've never played here uh, this version, don't worry because it is, it is complex. Trish, have you played Hong Kong Mahjong before? Let's see, Marty says, I'd play, but it would be hilarious. <laughs> well, I'm going to play, and it's going to be hilarious, too, because I'm still learning myself. I'm, I'm relatively new to uh, Richie Mahjong. 
both Richie Mahjong and MCR Mahjong. Okay, so Trish, if you play Hong Kong Mahjong, your learning curve is pretty short. If you play a half flush one suit with honors, that's a Yaku. You can win with that. You can totally win with that. Half flush, all pung, those are two really good go-to hands that are common between Hong Kong Mahjong and Richie Mahjong. A few of the other um, shared scoring elements are 13 orphans, which is very difficult. But let's see here, half flush, full flush, all one suit, seven pair, unique pair, nine gates, that's where you have one, 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 nine, 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 and a sequence of two through eight, and any tile paired. That is shared. Uh, all green, I think, is shared. Let's see. Um, all honors, I believe, is shared. Big three dragons, little four wins, big four wins. Those are all in Hong Kong Mahjong. So there are a lot of common scoring elements. So if you play those particular scoring elements, you'll be fine in Richi Mahjong. You just have to really be careful about what is being discarded because if you discard the winning tile, you're going to pay for the table. So that is a level of difficulty that Hong Kong Mahjong does not have. Maybe later. That's fine, Trish. No pressure at all. Marnie says, I see under whole hand there's all green. Is there all red or all dots? No. All green is BAMs only, and there are, if you look at the BAM suit, one through nine, some of the tiles have red color in the design. Those tiles are not used in all green. So all the tiles that are used have only green in them. I believe it's two, three, four, six, eight. Two, three, four, six, eight, or red dragons, or green dragons, sorry. Two, three, four, six, eight, and green dragon. That's called all green. There's no red in any of the designs of the tiles. That's why it's called all green. Two, three, four, six, eight. And or green dragons. So you can have any combination. Since you have a two, three, four, you can chi. And then you have a six, eight dragon. Those have to be pones. So for example, you couldn't do six, seven, eight because that's a chi and a seven has red in it. So that's why seven is not part of it, nor is a five, etc. So here we go, first game. So in this particular set of tiles, we have a six dot for the door indicator. Seven dot is Dora, because that's next in line. We have four dots, three cracks, a single bam, and then we have a pair of red or green dragons, a single red dragon, a single south, and a single east. We are in North Sea. Nine characters. If you get a pwn or three of a kind of the wit of your seat Nine wind, characters. you can get a yaku for that. Or the wind of the round. The wind of the round Ten is bamboo. east. I think we should try for a half flush in this hand. So when you first start out, seven bamboo. Your discards are going to be arbitrary because you don't know what anyone Ten is playing. Dragon. At this point now, we can start looking at discards North and make help make decisions with what we have in our hand and what we could discard. So, for example, a red dragon might be a good discard here because there's one out. So I'm going to discard the red dragon. And then eventually we're going to probably discard these cracks. And we'll focus on dots. We can do a chi, for example, with this one, two, with a three dot. Or we can do a pwn, three of a kind, with the two dot. West wind. There's an east. We have a pair of east now. So I'm going to go ahead and discard a two crack. Two characters. And in the beginning, it's a little risky discarding because you never know what people were dealt One and what character. they're able to, to claim. So we'll see how this goes. Green dragon. We're going to pwn three of a kind. <clears throat> and we're going to discard a four crack. I discarded a two, and the player to my right didn't want it. So I thought maybe that will be safe. And since they didn't want the four crack, maybe they won't want the six crack either. Three dots. That, that would have been a tile that would have been good for us, maybe. 
because it would have left, if we cheat the one, two with the three, that would leave a isolated two. Red dragon. But we'll see if we can draw more dots. North wind. Oh, there's a, there's a dot. Let's throw six craft. Six characters. So now there's a four, five potential. This would be a side weight, like I was explaining earlier, Eight where you characters. can complete a chi with a three dot or a six dot. That Four is a characters. side weight. A one two is called a cl uh, edge weight. We're needing the tile on the edge of the chi to complete dragon. it. Now we have pairs there. So let's discard the one dot. One dot. Because we have a pair of twos, Nine pair characters. south, pair east. You need a pair in here somewhere, so one of these is going to be a good pair for us. One character. Eight bam was discarded. Eight bamboos. So Eight characters. another thing about Richie Mahjong that's similar One to Hong character. Kong Mahjong is you can only cheat from the a discard on from the player on your left, or you draw it yourself. Okay, now there's a six. So let's do, we have a six, seven, eight, okay, five, six, let, let's discard eight dot. Eight dots. And we'll get rid of this four dot two. Maybe we could pwn the east for a Yaku. Somebody might be holding it though. Now we have a Richie five player. Dots. So this player is ready to win because they, they declared Richie and they discarded a five dot for Richie Mahjong or Richie. Ready Nine to win bamboos. on something. Uh, let's see. Let's throw white. White dragon. Five bamboos. I'm hoping to pwn one of these tiles here, these pairs. Green dragon. Two dot east or south, and then we'll be ready to win. Nine bamboos. Okay. They have a three dot in their discard. Three dots. So they're not going to be able to win by discard on that three dot. But the other two players, we don't know what they're doing. One character. Eight dots. Seven characters. Rome. Oh, Rome. So when you win, you can win by discard, which is called Rome. Only the player who discarded that tile pays for the table. So we have, me and the player across from me have zero points. The player across from this winning player, they discarded that tile. They have negative 5,000 points. They won with something called Pinfu, which is all three in a sequence. Pinfu and Richi, because they declared ready to win, which is Richi. And they had a door tile. They had a seven die. So that's Richi Mahjong. Hi, Br um, Bryn. Welcome to the live stream. North wind. We have a six crack as the indicator, seven crack as Dora. We have an eight crack, which might North be wind. useful. We have two single wins. I think we should try Ten for characters. all cheese. Let's see. I'm going to stay concealed. And I think we should try for Pinfu, Sound which wind. is all three in a sequence, all cheese. That is concealed. White dragon. We do have ones and nines in here. We do have sixes and a four. I was thinking that we might be able to do something called Junchan. That's also called terminals in all, where you have a one or a nine in every block. We of course would have to discard the four, six, Two four, five, characters. six. We're gonna stay concealed at the at this moment. There's an eight, so we'll eight, keep nine. that. We have an eight, nine. We have a six, seven, eight chi already. One dot. Let's see. We have a pair of one cracks, so I wouldn't break that up. One bamboo. I think playing pinfu would be a good plan here. Okay, there's a four. So now we want to get rid of isolated tiles. Let's see. Let's discard one bam. One bamboo. We have a three, four side weight. That Green is re that kind of a weight is required for pinfu, which is all cheese. We Eight have a pair bamboos. of one cracks, another three, four side weight. We have an isolated eight crack, which could be helpful with Dora, the seven crack. If we can get a chi in here with Five that, we're, we're concealed. Pinfu is concealed. 
okay there's a six crack we have a six seven eight eight nine let's discard six bam six bamboos so we have a three four six Sound eight wind. the six eight we might be able to use dora yeah. so let's see if we can draw a seven crack we're gonna pass on that we're staying concealed we have a six seven eight and an eight nine let's discard three dot three dots we're playing Richie mahjong if you're just joining the live dots. stream this is a japanese mahjong at mahjong time Red dragon we're playing pinfu which is all three in a sequence Four and characters. it is concealed we have a one bam discarded so we're going to discard one that bamboo. Will be Furitan for that tile or any tile around one it. Bamboo. One, two, three, chi. We would be Furitan for that because we discarded it. We wouldn't be able to win by discard with tiles in that kind of a chi. Green dragon. Six bam, same thing. Six we already bamboos. discarded it. Now I want to look at what has already been discarded by these players too and two try to dots. figure out what they might be doing. Six dots. So the player to my right has only one bam out, a lot of one, two, three little tiles. <coughs> the player to our left has thrown dots. Red dragon. I'm not, let's see, they're in, oh, here's a two, three, four. Okay, let's see, we have a potential chi there. Let's get rid of the nine dot, I think. Nine dots. Because we do have a two, three, four chi. Nine we have character. a three, four side weight, which we need. And then we have a 6-8 closed weight where we Eight need the bamboo. tile in the middle, but that's Dora. And then we have a 6-7-8 Chi already Eight. made. So we're one away from ready. Two bamboos. If we can get a 7 crack, we'll be ready to win. Let's see, we already have a 2-3-4. Let's discard 4 bam. 4 bamboos. The player to our left is playing something called Mixed Triple Chi. Or, uh, let's see, Sanshoku Dojun is what that's called. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. They have six, man. seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, and a south. Okay, so I don't know what they're doing. They have a pone of south, and this nine is east character. round there in west seat. We're going to throw nine crack. Nine character. I don't know what they're doing because they have no score right now. Uh, unless characters. they have maybe a, a pone of the wind of the round waiting, or maybe a pone of dragons, because right now they have no yaku. Six dots. We are looking for a seven crack specifically. There's a five bam. We don't need that. Two bam was two discarded. Bamboos. So let's keep the five bam because now we a two bam was Eight discarded bamboos. recently. And we still have a complete chi with that five bam. Two dots. No eight One dots dot. are out right now. Nine bam. No, none of those are out either. Okay, let's throw nine bam. Nine bamboos. Well, that's that was out in a chi, actually. East wind. And the player to my right did discard an eight bam. Six bamboos. So we're looking for a seven crack. None are out, which means people are holding it for score, because that is Dora. That's going to give them a, an extra Han. Okay, eight bam is out. That should be safe. Eight bamboos. West wind. We have five more picks One each. Character. We're going to pass. We're staying concealed. This eight dot, I'm Seven not sure. Characters. Okay, now that is Dora, but we're, we're concealed. We cannot claim that. Somebody else might. Nine cracks safe. Nine characters. There were three of those out, so the first Dora tile was discarded. Nine bamboo. And nobody was ready for it. Two dots. This eight dot I'm a little nervous Seven about. Bamboos. There is one out in a chi. Let's just discard it now. Actually, yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's discard one crack. One character. Because now if we get rid of this one crack, we'll have all simples. If we have all simples, that's one called Tanyo. You can claim discards for that. If the player to my left discards says discards that seven crack again. We could be ready to win, win on a side weight, actually. One character. We have two more picks and one Nine discard because we have our pair with the eight dot now. 
We have no terminals. We do have an honor here. I'm a little nervous about this white dragon, though, because there's only one out. Green dragon. North is out. North win. We have only one more pick. Eight trying to look at my discards to see what's going to be a good discard here. Eight crack. That Seven was just dancers. thrown and nobody wanted it. Two characters. Pass. Let's see. Let's chi. <coughs> I'm going to discard the white dragon. white dragon. I'm a little scared. <coughs> Pwn. Okay, good. Oh, we're ready to win on a seven crack. The reason I wanted to do that is because we're ready to win, which is called ten pie. That's another differentiator with the Red game. Dragon. If you're ready to win and you end in a wall game, you get paid. And I'll explain Two it in a characters. minute. Since we're ready to win, if this ends in a wall game, we'll get paid. Four bamboos. Okay, so we had a wall game. Now, any player that is ready to win shares a 3,000 penalty from players who are not ready. In this case, I was the only one ready to win. So the other three players had to pay me because I was ready to win. So I got, let's see, three, three, I thought it was 3,000. Why did I get 15? Oh, because I'm not, I was not East. East pays double. Is that right? I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that. I forget. I'm a little rusty. Eight bamboo. Okay, so five bam is door because four bam is the indicator. We have four bams, including a pair of nines. We have a one crack, seven, eight, nine chi. Then we have a two, five, seven, and a single win, uh, dragons here, red and white. So... I think we might try for Pinfu again. All cheese. All three in a sequence again. North Because we have all number tiles. We have a pair of fives. If we pair up more, we could maybe do all pwn, all three of a kind. But a guideline that I've been told. Let's just pwn and. We'll pwn. And then we'll play defense. If pawns don't come in, we'll just Red play defense. Dragon. The it, the guideline for all pawn is if you Red have four dragon. pair from that onset. I only had two, so this is a risk. One character. This is a risk playing all pawn with only two pair. No and because I want to focus on discards, I want to. One character push myself to play more defensively. And if we pwn what we can, then great. Otherwise, no, I'll don't. discard what's being discarded for this live stream. Three so characters. even though this is a risk, playing all pwn with only two pair from the onset, I want to focus on discards. I hope that makes sense. Nine characters. Okay, so nine crack was discarded. So that's what I'm going to throw. Nine characters. And we'll, and we'll just try to pair up, and then we'll pwn Seven where we can. Moves. You can pwn on a discard Red Dragon. from anybody. But a chi, you can only claim a discard from the player on your left. Seven characters. Okay, so we paired up a seven dot. Now, seven crack was just thrown, so we're going to discard that. Seven characters. That's called temporary furitan. Since nobody took that seven crack that was just discarded b before, nobody can claim it with the next discard if it's discarded Nine again. Characters. That's called temporary furitan in one go round. So we could pwn the nine bam and the Three seven dot. Dots. Boom. Okay, there's a pwn, and pwns will skip no, turns, don't. so the, the play, we got skipped in that one. <laughs> oh, we have a Richie Eight player now. Characters. Okay, north is in their discard pile, and it's in the discard pile to my right, north so that's a great wins. discard. So now we need to heighten our Three awareness and play defensively 
because of the Ricci player, Two they're basically declaring that they are ready to win. A character. So you want to focus on them more so than the other two, but you still want to be aware of what the other two are doing. One this dot. is why Ricci Mahjong is so much more strategic. Okay, so now none of these tiles are out. A one bam was just discarded. One bamboo. And a two bam was also discarded by the Ricci player, so that might be a North good discard bam. next. Six dots. Okay, so six dot will be a Five good discard. Bamboos. Okay, we're not going to take that. And let's discard, let's see, six dot nobody can take because six that's dot. temporary Furiton. And let's see. Seven mm -hmm. crack is in the Ricci player's pile, so is a two bam. So One dot. seven uh, characters. Okay, we're gonna pass. One dot was just thrown, and it's in two players' hands, so One that was dot. a really good discard. It was just discarded, the Ricci player didn't want it, and it's in both of the other two players' discard piles. <laughs> now we have another Ricci mm -hmm. player, so we have to keep an eye on them. They threw a four two, uh, a four dot, four dot. Five okay, characters. okay. Uh, we're gonna throw two bam. I think that's probably the best. Seven cracks should be good. Seven characters. Five bamboo. Okay, that was in two piles. Nine dots. Five bamboo. We're gonna pass. Four dot. Good discard. Four dots. Sumo. Sumo. That is self pick. They they won self pick. They got three fawn. So their Yaku is Pinfu, all cheese. All three in a sequence. They were fully concealed. They declared Richi. That's what their three Yaku were. Pinfu fully concealed in Richi. They got fully concealed because they they were concealed and they self picked their win. So because they they won by self-pick, we all pay. We all share, you know, pay the same value of the hand. And that was uh, West C, so East pays double. Just keep that in mind also. So right now we are in uh, second place. We have six BAM is Dora because five BAM is the indicator. We do North have a four and a seven. We do have a pair of East. We do have chi potential. We do have pair potential there. Let's get rid of north. North wind. There's only four of every tile, and there are no jokers. Nine bamboos. East is the wind of the round. We could maybe play what's west called uh, yakuhai, which is pawn of the wind of the round west or pawn of dragons. So let's see. Pawn, none of these are out yet. Let's see. Let's discard seven dot. Seven dots. That was isolated. At least we could maybe chi with the one three. We could maybe have a pair one of character. two cracks. We do have a six seven side Seven's weight. Wind. The three crack, if we use the two crack as a pair, would be isolated. So if Nine you think about bamboo. potential blocks in the hand, south is out. Let's discard that. South wind. So we could pwn the east, let's say maybe chi the six seven one and the one three use the two crack as our pair so that would be one two three four blocks North we West. just need another chi in here somewhere eight one bamboo. two three four okay there's a there's a chi now five six seven let's get rid of these dragons why because bamboo. we do have blocks in here that we can use one two one three dragon. four we need one more chi in here, White actually. Dragon. We might have to use the 3-5 and the 6-7 separately. There's a potential chi using Dora, maybe. Let's get rid of the green, green dragon. dragon. If we can get a 6-bam, that's Dora. We could get an extra Han for that. And we have all the blocks Eight we characters. need. We just need the right tiles to complete them. We have a side weight with 7-8. Hopefully with a six bam, which is Dora. West wind. Okay, five crack. That is an, a potential pair. Let's see. Let's get rid of the four bam. Four bamboos. So we have a pair there. We could maybe do two, three side weight. We don't have to use Nine that as a characters. pair. If we pair up again, we could maybe pwn. Five characters. We have three pair. 
Let's just pwn. <coughs> okay, let's get rid of the one dot. One dot. Nine characters. I'm hoping that we can get the east. One of the challenges with wins is the other players at the table might be holding them for value. South wind. So we may never actually get the east. So let's go ahead and discard the three dot. Three dot. We have one, two, three pair. Each one of those could be a pawn. Oh. I think we should maybe try for all pawn. Two dot. We may not be able to use Dora. There's one out. One dot. And we have a pair of eight bams. There's an eight bam out Green too. Dragon. Okay, one bam, there's one out. One bamboo. I'm still hoping to pwn the east. One character. Two characters. Let's pwn. <coughs> and then let's get rid of the seven bam. Seven the other thing bamboo. I was thinking here is we're we're two away from a half flesh, which is called Honitsu. That's where you have one Three suit dots. with any combination of winds and dragons. But we would have to throw away a pair Three of eights. Bamboos. Let's pwn. <coughs> okay, now let's discard. Let's discard six crack. Six characters. I'm thinking that fives are the middle tile and might be used in cheese. So maybe the six crack could be held in someone's hand. So working from the inside of the sequence out, those might be good tiles to Four discard. Characters. Because if someone's playing Pinfu and they're using fives, they can't call those discards. And you can do a five, six, seven chi or four, five, six. Four so for that same reason, let's see, not, there are two nine, nine cracks out. Nine characters. There are no three cracks out right now. That might seven characters. If we can pair up one of these tiles, Four we'll be dots. ready to win on what's called a double weight. Red dragon. That was just discarded. Red dragon. And it's out. East wind. Pwn. <laughs> okay, now let's discard seven crack. That was just Seven discarded. Characters. We're ready to win on a three crack. This is uh, some, I, I three believe bamboos. this would be called a naked weight. You're sitting there with one tile. It might okay. also mean that everybody knows exactly Easy. which tile you are, need, but in this case, because we have mixed suits, nobody's going to know what we need. We need a three Seven crack to characters. win, and we just have one little tile in our hand. <laughs> Two Which is a little awkward, I must say. Seven dots. So we're waiting on a three crack. It could be any tile, as far as anybody knows, because we have mixed suits. North wind. One bam is out. One bamboo. Two bamboos. Now, if we get a tile that has been discarded, Seven dots. like there's one tile out, we might swap it out because there are no three cracks out. That is going to be a risky character. discard, though. One dot is out. One dot. What was that? Okay. Nine characters. So we're looking for a three crack. Green dragon. Three bamboos. Okay, three dot. There are three out. That's a good discard. Three dots. Oh, it's over there in the pwn. It could be a chi tile, though. It could still be used as a chi. Three, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, three. Two dots. And they probably thought about it because they had a two dot. Nine dots. But they already discarded a two dot. Let's hope we draw three crack. So six crack is also Dora. Six bamboos. We got a one crack that's out in two discards. One character. White dragon. I didn't get to reachy Marnie dragon. because I have exposures. You can only reachy if you're concealed. 
Your whole hand has to be concealed. Four dots. Okay, one dot, good save tile. One we have dot. one more pick each. I'm hoping that my last pick is gonna be safe because I have a risky tile. This Four three crack, characters. there are none out. So I'm hoping that whatever I pick, oh no, this is the last tile. We don't have to pick. We're ready to win again. We're 10 pie because that's the last pick. So we'll get paid again unless Seven other people characters. are ready to win because we share payment. So let's see if anybody else was ready. Yeah, other other two other players were ready to win. So we did get a thousand. We share three thousand. Um, it's a shared penalty from players who are not ready, which is called no ten, n o t e n, no ten. And then the players who are ready are called ten pi. So one player was not ready, and they had to pay one thousand to each ready player. Okay, here we go. Six BAM is the Dora indicator, so seven BAM is Dora, and we have it. Six, seven, eight. One character. We have a seven crack, and we have seven dots. Let's pwn, actually. Let's see. Let's pass, actually, because maybe we can. We do Please have three win. pair. Maybe I should have pwned. I was thinking we could maybe do six seven eight or seven eight nine mix triple g one but we do have a pair of dragons we could maybe use the one crack as a pair though and just let that lie and just call our pair done we have the potential here one for cheese win. but this dragon let's see three crack let's let's throw three crack or three dot. Three dot. Three dot, not crack. Dragon pwn, that would be called oh. Yakuhai if we get that alone, One. where you have no other scoring element. But since we have Dora, that I don't think that would be called Yakuhai. Or no, 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 I'm confusing that with Nami or Nomi. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. Uh, let's, let's see here. We have a pair. Let's see, seven, uh-oh, we're going to get rid of nine, nine dot. dots. If we pair up again, I'm thinking all pwn. West wind. Nami is where you have one, one Yaku and no Two other windows. scoring element like Dora. For example, if you do Richie and you have no other scoring element, that would be called Richie seven characters. Nomi or Richie Nami. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. We've got chi potential everywhere but the seven. Let's discard that. Seven characters. Did I just say re-chi potential? I meant chi, chi potential. Five, six, seven, eight, Four pair of ones. We have a pair of dragons. We have two, three, or one, two, three, already Four chi. Bamboo. We actually have a six, seven, eight with Dora. So we have Sounds two chis in our hand right now. There's another pair, though. I think we should try for oh, all pawn. Does. But that would mean we'd have to discard Dora. Let's see if we can do a dragon pwn. Dragon pwn and use Dora in our chi unless we pair up. White dragon. Six dots. We have four pair right now, and then we have Dora in a chi. Three bamboos. Okay, eight crack now. That's kind of is isolated. We waited a long time for that east in the last game. We might have to do the same east with wind. with the dragon. People hold, tend to hold dragons for One score because that's a yaku. A, any dragon poem is a yaku all by itself. Red dragon. I, I, I really would like to draw this seven bam. Nine dots. Six characters. We, we are ready on this. Um, I think it's called a pure double chi, I piku. I, I piku, I think is how it's pronounced, I piku. 
and that's the second one down under cheese. If we draw a two crack, we could two use characters. maybe we could hold we could basically do Epiku and Richie and stay concealed and, and use Dora. So let's see what happens. We have a chi, we have two potential chis and then two pair. Really we're one away Sound from ready. Win. Okay, let's discard three bam. Three bamboos. If we can get that two crack or pwn one of these pairs, Nine we could discard the five bam and be ready to win. Nine Declare bamboos. Richie and be ready to win on Epiku with a two crack. So let's see how this goes. We kind of need specific tiles. Two Green crack. Dragon. Okay. Let's let's pass. Let's see if we can make this work here. Let's discard five bam. Five bam. And see if we can stay concealed and play Epiku. Six we five. have a side weight with oh, you know what? I just realized. Okay, this is where we're Furiton right now. We have a nine dot in our discard pile. Nine and, dots. and here I have a seven nine. Let's just card south. south. I have a seven eight. I need a nine dot. If I switch like this, five that would put me in Furiton. I would, if I try to win at, while being in Furiton, that's called a chombo. Nine and you get a big time penalty for that. So we need to probably discard this eight dot and go for. Dragon. Okay, now we really do have to decide. Okay, let's just pwn. We're gonna pwn and we're just gonna do Yakuhai and, and Dora. And then we'll just pwn at this point because we're already six, seven, eight, nine discards. We have pairs. Seven characters. And we have a Yaku with our dragon alone plus Dora. That's two eight Han. Characters. That's plenty score. Well, oh, they got Roan. All right, so we didn't deal in. I'm grateful for that. So only the player who discarded will pay. We're still in second place. So I hope you all are enjoying Richie Mahjong. If you have any questions, let me know. I know it's complex and it's a little overwhelming. It, it's very complex, which is one reason why it's fun, actually, I think. So we have five BAM is the door indicator, six BAM is Dora. We have lots of BAMs. We do have one, two, three, four pair. So I think we should play four all pwn. We should play all pwn. We have four pair. That's a, the four guideline dots. I've been taught. I don't recall who told me that guideline. I'll have to try four to dots. see if I can find that and give them a shout out. It's one of my viewers early on. Um, so we're going to pwn as they come. It'd be nice to get another Lovely. pair in here though. Uh, let's see. So let's see what's nothing is out. Let's let's discard seven dot. Seven dots. We have one, two, three, four pair. If we pair up again before one we claim a discard two. to pwn, we could consider Chi toy oh, let's see, is it called what's it called? Um seven pair Seven pair. Nine bamboos. Trying to find it in here. No, we're going to pwn. We're going to go ahead and just pwn. So let's see. Let's discard five bam. Five Okay, bamboos. I'm trying to find seven pair. There it is. Chitoitsu. That's what it's called. Chitoitsu under whole hand. Chitoitsu seven. is seven unique pair. That's really fun to play, but it's concealed, so it's quite challenging. Eight bamboos. So at this point, we're ready to pwn. We've got two pair Nine here. Dragon. We can pwn both of those. And then we need Nine a pair dragon. in here still. So we're still a little shy. Nine characters. But I'm hoping that we'll pair up. So let's discard six crack. Six characters. Because it's towards that middle five crack, Nine five dragon. tile in a sequence, five in a sequence, or dots. the middle number in a sequence of one through nine, tiles four, five, and six might be held in four players' characters. hands who are concealed playing Pinfu. They may use four, five, six because they're very North flexible, wind. flexible especially around the five. Three characters. Okay, so we'll discard that. 
three characters. None of these tiles have been discarded yet. Eight bamboos. Three bamboos. So we're playing all three of a kind. That's called Toy Toy. Three characters. Oh, we got a six. You never six know what characters. you're going to draw. We ended up drawing that six. But since we One discarded bamboo. it, we're fear 10 for that tile, so we need to discard it. White dragon. Let's hope to pair up one crack eight or eight crack or Let's three dot. Win. Okay, there's a three, six, six dot. Let's see. Let's discard six dot. Six dots. The player to our right has a pawn of nines. They could be in dots for all we know. They threw a one dot very early Let's on though. Win. White dragon. Nine dots. Okay, eight dot. None of these are out. None of these are out. Let's throw eight dot. Eight dot. I don't know what this player to my right is doing, and they can cheat on any of our discards. So that's why I was thinking about discarding dots until I figure out what they're doing. Because if they happen to be in dots, Four once they have discards out or exposures out, I don't want to be holding a bunch of dots. As a matter of fact, I might discard this three dot next Western. they could be playing poems for all we know seven dots <gasps> okay there's pwn and it's dots so we still don't know Six if they're playing bamboos. all pwn or all dots or dots with honors they threw away dragons though and a west so they may be doing like what we're doing all pwn and you never know what suit they're gonna pwn East wind. Okay, there's a two crack. Let's throw the three dot. Three dots. Nobody wanted it, thankfully. Two characters. Okay, so that'll be a good discard next. Eat. Now, we have a Richie Red player, dragon. so that changes things a little bit. The two crack will go next because they didn't claim North it. Wind. A three bam is in their discard pile, so that'll be safe. Let's throw two, two crack, characters. and then next we'll throw the three bam, because that, that is in the Richie player's world pwn. <laughs> and then we'll discard three bam, because that is in the discard pile for our Richie player. Red dragon. There are no one cracks one out, dog. and there are no eight cracks out. We don't know what, let's see, we don't know what they're playing at all, so we have to... Three characters. Okay, there we go. Let's throw one crack and cross our fingers. One Because now we're, we're ready to win on a five crack or an eight crack. And there are, neither, neither of them are out. We're ready to win on, on oh, we're going to con. Seven bamboos. Oh. We have an eight bam. Okay, that's been thrown. Eight bamboos. Whew. Oh, eight five bam. crack was Six. the door indicator. So that's going to be our... White dragon. Oh, four dot. Oh, okay, four dot. Four dots. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, edge of my seat right now. Five crack is the door indicator. Six dots, eight dots. Green dragon. Seven crack. I have to throw it. Seven characters. Oh my goodness. It's intense. This game can be intense. Four characters. Eight dots. Five characters. Roan. We won. All, all pwned. Toy toy. We gotta win. Toy Toy, two, two Fawn or Han. So we have all Pwn, all three of a kind. And anytime a Ricci player, anytime a player declares Ricci, and if they do not win, and somebody else at the table wins, they get the Ricci bet. So we also got the Ricci bet. 
And there's a little bug in the game. These Ricci sticks are, do not retain. They just need to go away. Okay, so, oh, thank you, Raymond. We got in a win, which is always nice. It always feels good to win at least once. So one dot is the door indicator, and so that means two dot is Dora. We have two pair, south and red. We have mo more cracks than we do anything else. So let's discard, let's discard four bam. I'm kind of thinking we should pwn the dragon, and that will be our Yaku, and then we'll try to utilize Dora. There's a two bam. Let's throw bams. Two bamboos. So we're going to try to pwn a dragon. That is a Yaku. It's called Yaku High. So any pwn of dragons is a Yaku. East and wind. it doesn't matter any of the other combinations in your hand. If you have a cone of dragons, that's enough. Any any scoring element on this Yaku table can qualify you to win. Of course, you want to try to oh win with as many points as you can, but sometimes it's about speed, getting Six there quickly. Points. One of the guidelines Eight I've been done. told, okay, we're not going to take that. We have more cracks, and right now we're concealed. There's another crack. Let's throw seven dot. Seven dot. I'm kind of thinking we might need to sacrifice Dora, the two dot, and play half flesh. Because we have, we have two pair and two potential cheese. We have four blocks in our hand ready to go. Two four cheese. Four, let's chi with four, five, six. Eep. And let's discard Dora. Because we have everything we two need. Dot. Sometimes Dora does not work for you in your favor. And if that happens, you want to discard it as early as possible. Because you want to discard it before anybody's ready to use it. So in this case, we're playing Half Flesh, which is called Honitsu. And hopefully, oh, and then we ended up getting a six dot. That's okay. We're committed to a Half Flesh. Now, we, I'm hoping we'll pwn the South and the Red, Chi the 3, 4, and then we'll need a pair in here. It'd be neat. Okay, we have a Richie player now, so probably I'll discard this five. We'll cheat. Let's discard the white dragon. White dragon. Probably the six dot should be safe. Sound win. We're gonna pwn. Let's discard. Let's see, six dot. Six dot. Nine so dots. the Ricci player, they declared Ricci in six discards. <laughs> they won. They got sumo. They self-picked. And they have all chi, pinfu, and Ricci, and probably Dora. Pinfu, uh, let's see. Pinfu, fully concealed, Ricci, Dora, and Urdo Dora. Urdo Dora is the door tile under the door indicator. So you can see over here the four dot, that is the door, uh, door indicator under the first door indicator. If the winner, winning player is concealed and declared Ricci, they qualify for the tile underneath the door indicator. In this case, it was a four dot and they happen to have a pair of fives. So they got a really nice hand, six uh, Han, which is called Hanuman, I believe. Hanuman, six Han, that's a nice hand. but. They were, uh, they had thrown, they dealt into a uh, hand sometime during the game, and that's why they ended up having to pay an UMA penalty. At the end of the round, there's something called an UMA penalty. First and second share the penalty from third and fourth place. Third place pays 5000 Fourth place pays 10000 First place gets the 10000 Second place gets the 5000 So you can see first place has 29800 29, I have 5400 Because we got second place. So I achieved my goal. I didn't throw in or deal in. I did not deal in at one time. And that is one of the things you want to try to do. Don't deal in. So let's go ahead and join a table. So I, yeah, no flowers, Evelyn, in Richie Mahjong. No flowers. 
Oops. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about Ruti Mahjong? On this player reference, there's a lot of information about scoring. It's all about scoring on this player reference. And if you want to know more about it, Scott Miller has a great book on Ricci Mahjong. There's a link in the video description below. He talks about the fundamentals of the game, and he also shares some strategy as well. And then Dynachiba has some PDFs that are free to download, although I do recommend that anybody make a donation because he does that all free, um, the work that he puts into writing the primers. So there's a link to his primer in the video description below. That's really good as well. And then, of course, there's the tutorial, video tutorial, one whole video, three hours long, by Hanayuri Uta. And that is how I really learned the fundamentals through that video. And watching that video a couple times really gave me enough confidence to play online at Mahjong time. So check out those links in the video description below. And by the way, n none of those are sponsored. I just share about them because they've been very helpful to me. Now, with Mahjong Time, I am an affiliate there, so anyone who tries out Mahjong Time and decides to be a paid member, I do get a, a, a small commission. So just to be above board on that, I am a, an affiliate at Mahjong Time. And the reason I decided to work with them is because I do believe that they're the best place to play. They have five different versions, including Ricci Mahjong, as you see here, American Mahjong, Taiwanese, Hong Kong Mahjong, and Mahjong Competition Rules. They also developed American Mahjong, the Siamese Mahjong version, so uh, they're kind of on the cutting edge, I think, and the community is wonderful, a wonderful community of players as well. So I hope that if you haven't given it a try that you look for my email, send me an email and I can send you that 30-day VIP code. So here we're waiting for two more players. Hopefully we'll get players. I'm hoping that we can grow the Ricci player base so that we can play more. The, you'll notice that there are very few tables of players because a lot of the players are in Europe. There are not very many Ricci players in America, so I'm really hoping to bring awareness of this version to America, at least help do my part, as it were, because not very many people know about Ricci Mahjong in America. There is a group in LA, and there are several other satellite groups around the country that are trying their best to spread the word about Ricci Mahjong. Um, La Palm is one of the groups that I follow in LA, and they have a, a Facebook group and they do a lot of uh, marketing on their Facebook group. A lot of it is in Japanese though because they do have a lot of uh, Japanese players. So sometimes it's a little challenging to follow. But um, there are also Americans who have Facebook groups that focus on Richie Mahjong. I believe uh, Oklahoma there's one in Seattle, there's one in New York. So um, there, there are satellite groups trying to share the word about Ricci Mahjong. So I have an invitation here for Mahjong Competition Rules, which is another really fun version to play, but we're focused on Ricci right now. I really don't like to decline. Uh, let's see. So Evelyn says, Europe, they must be night owls then, yeah. Now, this player here, though, if you click on their player, this particular player is in Singapore. <laughs> this player is in Portugal. So, yeah, they're, they're definitely night owls. Um, so we're waiting, and they're black belts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have Singapore and Portugal here. So, and then of course we have an American right here, Canton, Georgia. 
Woohoo! So we need one more player, and we could we could go one more time. It's eight fifteen, so we're gonna probably go long, um, because as I was sharing before, it's not just four games sometimes, depending on how well East does, and that that's called a dealer repeat. I think there's another uh, the Ricci term for dealer repeat. Let me see if I have that in here. Uh, dealer repeat. Where is that? I forget what that's called. I'm going to Google it. While we're waiting, I'll Google dealer repeat. I forget what that's called. Ricci dealer repeat. Oops. It would help if I didn't have a typo in there. Renchon repeats a continuance called repeat or continuance. It's called a Renchon. Renchon, do I have that in here? I don't. I don't have Renchon in the um, definitions portion just because space is limited. I only put on the back of the, of the page above the scoring table. There's a little section for definitions. I put really the most elementary there. But um, dealer repeat is called a Renchon. Wrench on. Um, a round is called a hanchen. Wrenchen hanchen. Okay, so let me check out chat. Uh, hi, Martha. Let's see. My hubby and I are watching just for kicks. Whole nother language, yes. And also, what I didn't realize is the Ricci terms are not actually necessarily Japanese. There's specific terms for Ricci Mahjong. And some of them are probably Japanese, the Japanese language, which is probably why I don't pronounce them correctly. But the terminology sometimes is Ricci specific, the games, game specific terminology, which I thought was interesting. Let's see, Evelyn says it's 9.14 a.m. in Singapore. Oh, it's morning. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's see, Evelyn asks, what is that banging sound in the background? Oh, oh sorry, that's laundry. <laughs> that's my washer. I don't have one of those state-of-the-art washing machines. I have an old washing machine, so it can be a little loud. Let me, let me see if I can get my son to close the door. Maybe that will help. So let's see if I can get him to close that door. That might quiet things down a little bit. Sorry if that's been a distraction. It's almost done. It's been running forever. Oh, you know what? He put laundry in. My load is done. That's his load. I'll try to remember to not have laundry going during live streams. So sorry about that. Okay. So yeah, laundry. Uh, I I um I got up this morning at nine. Since we're waiting, I might as well share a little window into my life. Uh, we're we're night owls in this house, so we stayed up late. We're watching a mini series called Chernobyl. I don't know if anyone has seen that, but oh my gosh, what a horrific disaster that was. But my husband was actually in Germany when Chernobyl blew, and he, he ended up getting cancer. And we're not sure if it was related to the radiation from Chernobyl, because he was in the fallout area. He was in Germany when Chernobyl blew, and he ended up getting melanoma on his temple. And uh, obviously, he's a survivor or I wouldn't be sharing this because we married years later and we have a son together. So huge blessing. And he wasn't sure because of that radiation if he would even be able to have kids. And we have a healthy, happy 21-year-old. Uh, anyway, um, so we're watching Chernobyl, staying up late, binge-watching that series. And so we got up late, and then I worked on some YouTube editing, and then I ran errands, which took all day. 
I went to Costco, which, oh my goodness, that is a nightmare. <laughs> I like going there because, oh, they have the best salmon. So I, I wanted to go there to get salmon. And um, they also have really good pork tenderloins pre-cut, so I like that. So I went to Costco and didn't get home until late and had to hurry and get ready for the live stream. So there's a little window on my Saturdays. All right, here we go. Last game, last round, I should say. Now, one BAM is the Dora indicator. Two BAM is Dora. We have a 3-4 three, four, three, four side weight that we might be able to use Dora for. I'm not going to claim any discards. I want to try to stay concealed. We have one honor. I'm going to discard it because you can only pwn or pair with honors. No chi with honors. No honors are wins and dragons. We have all number tiles. No I think we should play pinfu, all three in a sequence. We might even be able to do all simples. One character. Here's another four. So let's throw one crack. One character. Let's see. Um, Marsha says she's trying to log no, into Marsha on time. Oh, this will be our last game, though. Uh, although I don't know how long we're going to go. Uh, we'll see how well East does. Eight characters. So we're staying concealed. We're going to try to play Pinfu here. Let's throw nine, nine bam. Bamboos. We're one away from all simples. All simples is two nine through eight. Blocks. And with all simples, you can claim Red discards blocks. to complete your blocks. It's not a concealed hand. Although if we do it concealed, we'll get an nine extra hand. Because maybe we'll be able to declare Ricci. <coughs> Excuse me. Dragon. So we're one away from all simples, although this Seven one, characters. we could chi with that. <coughs> okay, let's get rid of the one dot. Okay, now, dot. oh, we still have a nine crack in here we need to get rid of. I think we should try for all simples. We do have two pair. We have another four pair characters. with our four band, too. But we might be able to use Dora with one that. Character. Let's see if Eight we can band. pair up again with a simple. Boom. There's Pwn. East Wind. Pwn. Three of a kind. East Wind. Okay, let's get rid of the nine crack. Nine. So nine now nine. we have what's called all simples. In the Ricci terminology, that's called Tanyao. Tanyao is all simples. That's a Yaku. Good so we could win with this. We just need to complete these blocks. And you can cheat or Pwn. Any mixture will do, as long as you don't have ones, Six nines, characters. or honors. Okay, there's a three. We have another pair in there. Let's go ahead and discard eight crack. Eight characters. So we have three pair now. We could pwn, maybe Jesus. go for toy toy and all simples. Okay, this player to the left looks like they're playing dots. Green dragon. Seven crack. Let's get rid of the two crack. Two characters. We have a five, six, seven. We have three pair. We do have a potential chi with Dora, so we want to keep that in mind. Right now we're concealed. Four so, okay, well, let's go ahead and pwn. Let's get rid of three bam since it's useful for Dora, bam. maybe. Marsha says, the live stream lags behind the live games. You were already in a game. Yes. I'm sorry, Marsha. It would have been no fun to play with you. Okay, so we are exposed now, so... We're playing, right now, we're playing Tanyao, all simples, and you can have any mixture of cheese and palms. Okay, there's another pair in there. Let's get rid of the five. Five dot. Five dot. So we have a pair of fives. We've got three pair in here. We really have everything we need. Let's pwn. We have everything we need for all pwn. Actually, if we discard five crack, we'll be ready to win. Five Let's just be ready to win. We're ready on a double weight. Six dot or eight dot will give us a win for all simples. Nine characters. Double weight. Eight characters. White dragon. One bamboo. Eight. There's a North there North. is an eight crack eight dot out no six dots are out. Six characters. We have a Ricci player. Red dragon. West was thrown West a minute dragon. ago. White dragon. 
I'm going to play to win here, I think. Seven characters. Seven crack. This is not Roan. We're ready on a six dot or an eight dot. We'll con. Three dots. Come. North is a good discard. North win. Four bamboo. We're looking for a six dot or an eight dot. There's an eight dot in a chi. North wind. Two bamboos. Roan. Roan. Okay, so we have a two a two horn hand. It looks like a, a Richie. They had Richie and Dora, so they were ready to win, and that was their only Yaku. Richie, they had four blocks and a pair, ready to go. Mixture of cheese and pones. They have a pone of six bams, so they had Richie alone, and that's okay. Any win is a good win as long as you have a Yaku on this table. You can be ready to win. So here we go. Next game. Nine crack is the indicator. So the next tile up when you have a nine, it goes all the way around back to one. So one crack is Dora, and we have it. So let's see. We have three. We have two pair and Dora. So let's see if we can go for. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Eight bam. We do have. A pair of east. That is the wind of the round, and it's our seat. Let's, Let's see if we could pwn the east, and that will be our yaku. And we'll Eight chi down. and pwn as best we can elsewhere. And try to use Eight Dora. Characters. There's a one crack. Okay, now let's discard five bam. Five bamboos. So I, I'm kind of working on this theory of discarding from the inside out if we're not using it. So that means four, five, six, primarily starting with five, Red since dragon. it's in the middle of the sequence. So next, at least at the beginning Two game, dots. I think I'll discard six crack. Nine characters. There's a three. Let's keep it and discard six. Oh, eight crack was discarded. Let's throw that. Eight characters. So based on what's discarded, let that help you make a decision on what to discard, because there's only four of every tile. We can pwn three, any pair is a potential pwn. We have three pair right now. Six dots. Okay, I'm not going to chi that. I, I want to see if we could pair up again and maybe uh, try for all pwn. Six characters. We're short two pair right now. So we'll see. Seven characters. Right now, let's just try to stay concealed. See if we can get Six Dora dots. and try to pwn. Pair up and pwn. Six characters. Four bam. Right now we're working on a lot of bams. Eight dots. This one crack though is Dora. That's two two extra Han in our hand if we can use it. I'm kind of thinking we need to try to get this pwn of East. Eight dots. But you never know where that is. Seven dots. You never know where that could be. Someone could be holding a pair thinking that they could get a pwn <laughs> in the wind of the round. Three dots. Let's hope someone discards a we draw in East. Eight bamboos. But since it hasn't been discarded yet, nine dots. Maybe it's in the wall. I don't know. There's a pwn in hand now. Three characters. Three characters. Chi. <laughs> There's a two, three, four chi in cracks. So they're three probably dots. playing Honitsu half flush. Um, there are there are very few. There's only one wind and one dragon out, so they may be trying for. Oh my goodness! Let's get rid of the west. West wind. Look at all these bams. Plus we have Dora. We have two, three, four pwn Six and a pair. Bams. If we get one more tile, we can Richie and let that be our four Yaku. Dots. Let's see if we can stay concealed in Richie. Four dots. Okay, there's a three. Let's get rid of the white dragon. White dragon. I want to try to use that North one wind. crack. If we can draw a five bam or, oh, you know what? Five North bam, dragon. eight bam, I discarded. We need to draw that because we're Furiton right now <laughs> with West that. Wind. Seven crack, three crack is out. Three characters. We're Furiton with the five bam and eight bam. North we're going to need to draw it. 
there are three eight bams out. So if we can draw a five bam, this will be interesting. We'll be ready to win, and we can reach you. Okay. Okay, no. Let's stay concealed. Okay, seven crack. Seven characters. Okay, so we have, let's see here. We have two pair. That We could maybe double. say that'll be a double weight. We have a pone of ones, a two, three, four T, two and then a side weight with a six, seven, but we're furitin. Three bamboo. Which means we have to draw it. Unless... Oh, I'm gonna. I want to stay concealed. West wind. Oh, this is rough. Because I was thinking maybe we could chi and hope for that east, but someone I think is Six holding seven. the pair of east. Seven dots. Okay, there's an eight bam. We can reach chi and discard seven dot. Seven dots. So we're ready to win. We drew our eight. We were Furitan, and that was the only way we were going to be able to get ready here. We're ready on a double weight for Ricci. One dot. Ricci, and then we have two Dora. So we're ready on a one crack or an east. Seven bamboos. Now Six, the game is going to discard for us. Anytime you Ricci, your hand is locked and you have to discard. Nine dots. You have to discard every tile unless it's your winning North tile, hand. of course. So we could be discarding risky tiles. Two bamboos. We're locked Four in. Four characters. So let's just hope we don't deal in. White dragon. We're looking for a one crack or an east. And this is going to be a challenge because North one crack is Dora and east is the wind of the round. Two dots. South wind. We're getting lucky with these discards. Green dragon. Okay, that's a pass. I don't know why, why it all of a sudden asked us for a roan on that. It's just testing you. Don't click Roan unless it's your winning Seven tile. Characters. North wind. Six characters. That's not Roan. We need a one crack or an east. <laughs> I bet they have Two one bandits. cracks. Because they're in they're in playing Honitsu with cracks. Red Dragon. Five characters. That could be a winning tile. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> well, they threw a four crack, though. Oh, my goodness. Okay, one dot is Dora. Five characters. Nope, nope, that's not wrong. There's one more pick. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope that uh, it's not a risky tile. <laughs> I do not want to discard Seven the last eight. tile. Oh, good. One that's a safe eight. tile. We got ten pie. Who had one crack? The player to our right had a one crack. So there were two two ten pie players. Let's see, three ten pie players. All right, here we go. So three of us were ready to win. One had to pay 3,000. All right, here we go. We, we are not Ricci, by the way. That stick needs to go away. I don't know if it will. Okay, so let's see. We got dragons. Look at these dragons. I think we should go for dragon pwn again. Dragon pwn and let's hold. Let's see. Seven crack is Dora. Let's hold cracks. Five and bamboo. if we can, if we have four of each though, you know what? That was a mistake. I probably should have kept that because we do have potential for four, five, six mixed triple chi. So I should have kept that five and discarded the one. That was a mistake. Dragon. Let's pwn. Let's discard the one. One bamboo. If we can get a five bam back. Two bamboos. Well, now we're Furitan, though. That that was... that was. I probably should have no, discarded no, maybe a, the one bam or the two dot. Probably the one bam would have been a better one discard bamboo. right away. Anyway, that's all right. So now we have six, seven, two eight, dot. six, seven... We have a pwn of dragons, that's a Yaku. So really, we could just Three win with here. anything now because we have a Yaku already, the dragons. And we have Dora now, six, seven. The seven crack is Dora. So we're gonna get a Han for that, and that's a bonus tile. Five dots. That's not a Yaku. Don't count Dora as your Yaku or Ooh, you will chombo. Diff. Okay, now we have a five bam. We've got cheap potential. Let's discard East. East wind. 
So we have chi potential right, right. everywhere in here. We do have a five, six, seven. Five dots. We have a one, two, four, six, six, seven. We want to try to right, use right. Dora though. Two is discarded, so we'll Two discard dots. that. And we've got lots of cheap potential here. Red Dragon will be Four a good character. discard next. Four dots. If you make a mistake, a lot of times you can just recover. You just have to be aware of your, your discards. Like Each the East. <clears throat> it would have been nice if I hadn't thrown the East, because then we would have had a pair of Wind of the Round, but... <clears throat> That's all right. Five characters. That's what we want. Hopefully no one will pwn. Okay. But someone's holding that chi tile, maybe. Four dots. Chi tiles. Four, five, six. Let's chi. <clears throat> that leaves Red us with dragon. a potential chi. And we do have other potential chis. What we need in here is a pair. So six I'm, I'm hoping to chi the 6-7, because that's Three with dots. Dora. And then we need to get a pair in here and another chi. Nine characters. We need to pair up one dot. We have twos out. Let's discard the one. One dot. So we have a, we have a four, five, Nine six. Nine characters. We do have a four six. We have a five bam out. Eight dots. We have a gap with no no bams. There's a four five six chi out right now too. In our with Three our opponent. Dots. There's a pair. Okay, let's discard the one crack. One character. Because we can chi two three four or one two three. Either way we need a three. Okay, so we're one away from ready here. We have a pair with our eight dot. Five characters. What we need is a chi and we'll be ready to win. Yep, that's another five crack out. South wind. Oh, six bam. There's a five bam in our pile. Six bamboo. Four dots. So we need to consider the Ricci player. They do North have a wind. four crack in their discard pile. North wind. North is a good discard. North wind. They didn't Seven take bamboo. it, so. Chi. Okay, we got a chi. North Two wind. chis of bams. White dragon. A one dot. That should be one safe. Dot. They didn't take it. East wind. Green dragon. North wind. Okay, nine dot. We have nine dot. We have a pair here. Let's discard. Let's discard four crack. Four characters. West wind. I'm thinking about the Ricci player West here. Dragon. Four crack they had in their pile. Eight bamboos. Okay, there's six, seven, eight, eight, nine, two, six. Let's discard two crack. Two characters. Uh oh. Oh no. Three dots. Oh my goodness. I still want. I want to win. Eight characters. <laughs> we have two side weights here. This nine dot was discarded early. Mm -hmm. Nine bamboos. Three dot. That's a good discard. Oh, three dots. Okay, good. Three characters. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. This nine dot. I don't know. Nine dot. We're one away from ready ourselves. West wind. You know what we could do is discard the cracks and play dots. Six because bamboo. there's a six. That's what we're going to do. There's a six crack in their six pile. We're, we We almost have Eight a half characters. flush here now. Here's a seven eight or six seven eight. Two There's an eight nine. We could pwn and be ready on an eight. Seven crack. There are no seven cracks out right now. This is gonna be risky. And that's Dora. Uh oh. That's why I wanted to keep it. Two bamboo. Okay, three bam. Let's throw that. Three bamboo. Two characters. Oh my goodness. Seven crack. They threw an eight crack. 
they could be waiting on a seven crack for a pair or a pawn. They threw an eight crack, so if they're going to try to do a chi on that, that would be Furiton. But if they're waiting on a seven crack for their pair, this is going to be a really risky Don't discard. Win. East is a good discard. East wins. Let's. Two we wins. only have one more pick. Let's see what was Don't discarded win. recently. None of these were discarded recently. Six, one seven, character. eight. South. There we go. Safe discard. South wins. Okay, we're not ready on this one, so we'll have to pay. We'll pay a thousand because we had one ready player so we each pay a thousand all right so we're back to zero they were ready on they had a seven eight nine chi um i was trying to see what they were ready on but i couldn't tell looked like they were playing pinfu maybe i don't know i couldn't see it quick enough okay here we go next game okay we have a lot of bams Three West dot wind. is Dora, which we don't have. We do have a one dot, but we have a lot of bams and wins. I think we should try for a half flush. We've got chi potential in here and a potential pwn. South we wind. have three blocks with our bams alone. South wind. Okay, so there's a five, six, seven though. Let's see, south. Let's discard south. South wind. Five There's a west out too. Let's try for, let's go for Pinfu. We have a Chi. We do have a potential for Dora with the one dot. We could do a one, two, Eight three Chi maybe. We have a Chi with a five, six, seven. Red Dragon. Let's discard west. west There's another potential Chi in there. Seven, nine. nine There's an eight crack out though. I think Pinfu. All Chi's. Mix suit. Six dots. West wind. Let's throw north. North wind. All right, so everything is tied in except the Eight one dot, it. so I think we should discard that next. North wind. Five bamboos. Okay. You know what? We're close to simples. Let's pwn. Let's play Tanya. All simples. One dot. And we have only one more terminal to get rid of. Let's do West all simples wind. because we can claim discards to to complete our blocks with Tanya. All two through Red eight. That's dragon. Tanya. And that is under Red whole dragon. hand. There's a five. Let's get rid of the nine. So we have no nine terminals, characters. which are ones and nines, and we know how we have so no dragons characters. and no wins. So we are cleared to Two simples. Dots. That's called Tanya. We can chi everywhere. One bamboo. Okay, we don't want terminals, so we're gonna discard Nine terminals. Bamboo. And you can see in our discard pile, wins and terminals. So they're gonna know we're playing simples or pawns. They might think maybe they're playing pawns because we have a pawn out, but if we have if we claim a discard for a chi, they're going to know that we're playing Tanya. So there's a pair. we got to have a pair. Let's get rid of the five dot. Five dot. We do need a pair still in here, but Seven we do have a side weights everywhere in here, except South the six, wind. eight here. Six, eight, bam. Dragon. Okay, one is a terminal. We can get rid of that. One bamboo. So this five dot was telling because... We have all terminals and wins and then one simple. So they know, they're going to know that we have, that we're pretty well set with simples because of that five dot in our discard pile. This is one of Six the differentiators. Characters. Let's pwn. Because we're still waiting on a pair with our five seven. So let's discard eight bam. Eight bamboos. <clears throat> we still need a pair though now. We're going to still need a pair in here. Five bamboos. We'll see how this goes. But with Richie Mahjong, since each Seven player bamboos. has their own discard pile, you can Seven discern. Bamboos. Okay, we threw a five dot, so we need to throw that. Five dot. You can discern based on what's in their pile what they're playing. If you know the scoring. One bamboo. If you know the Yaku table. 
you can figure it out. For example, the player to our right has no Four dots Bandits. out, so they're probably playing Honitsu. They threw a west, two Four wests. Bandits. Okay, we're going to chi on that. Okay, let's discard. Let's see what's out. There are two seven cracks out. Let's throw seven cracks. Seven characters. We still need a pair. But um, they, they have two wests red out. Dragon. They have no dots out. So they, they And they threw a, a red dragon there. One they character. could be playing a half flush. They could be playing all dots for all we know. Um, so And they could be playing pinfu. You never know when they're concealed, really. Okay, so let's see. Uh, five crack is out. Let's throw that. Five characters. Nine characters. So, for the other players, Six bamboos. there's a mixture of suits for the player across from us, <clears throat> and they're throwing wins. Red dragon. They're probably playing. Okay, seven bam. There is a uh, potential side weight there. Let's throw two crack. Two characters. We have two two side weights, six, seven, seven, eight. Although we do not want a nine dot Five because characters. that's a terminal, um, and if we let that go, we'll be furitan uh, or temporary furitan there. What we need is pair. Okay, here we go. Now we're ready eight to win. Dots. We're ready on a side weight. Now that could be someone's winning tile. Let's hope they pwn or chi. Okay, good. So we're ready on a we're ready on a side weight. We need, oh, someone roamed. So here we have a Mangan, five Han, that's called Mangan. We have all simples, they have all two through eight, just like us. They de they declared Ricci, they had a Dora tile, or two Dora tiles, and they qualified for Ura Dora, which is the Dora, uh, Dora tile, un or the Dora indicator under the top Dora indicator. So they got lucky with Ura Dora. All right, here we go, next game. Okay, now we have single bams. A two crack is Dora. We have lots of cracks, including two pair, five and eight. We do have a pair of sixes. Nine bamboos. We have three total pair, all simples in them. Nine I think points. we should maybe try four simples again. There's a pwn in there. We're west. Let's get rid of, uh, no, you know what? Let's get rid of a one crack, one a one, do, one bam. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Um, we have, since we have a pair of six dots, East wind. let's see about maybe doing all simples again and pwn. We could maybe do Tanya and Toy Seven Toy. Dots. All simples and all pwn. We're short though, we need to pair up more. Seven dots. But these, these tiles here, we're in west seat. Let's discard south. south we wouldn't get score for that, for a pwn, but these dragons, White if we dragon. pair up and pwn, we could get value there. So a white dragon was discarded, so let's throw Seven that characters. next. And we're one we're a cup or three away from all simples. So we'll see. We'll see if we seven continue bamboos. with that. There's a seven bam. Let's throw white. White dragon. So I think all simples looks pretty good here, because we can pwn and chi. Now, we do have two a four crack, two dot that are isolated after we get rid of the nine crack One and the dot. red dragon. So we, we have work to do. This is not a done deal nine by any bamboos. means. We Okay, there's another pair. Let's get rid of the red dragon. Red dragon. So we have one, two, three, four pair. Mm -hmm. We do have a pwn, that pair. Two it's bamboos. not a pair, it's pwn. We have one, two, three pair, and a pwn. Let's get rid of the nine Six crack characters. next. We still need a pair in here. <clears throat> one bamboo. Okay, we're going to get rid of the one dot. One dot. Eight bamboos. Six dots. Okay, we're gonna pwn. <coughs> let's just get get rid of the let's see, what's out? Seven bam is out. That's a that's a side weight. Let's get rid of the two dot. Two With dots. Tan, because our Yaku is Tanya, we can both chi and pwn. Eight it, dots. It will bring our score down a little. Whereas if you do all pwn and tanya, that's gonna two be dots. a higher value. Pwns have more value overall. Right. 
than cheese. So if you mix cheese and pones and mix soup, you're going to bring your score down. Four but nuts. we could do Tanyelle alone. Easily. So let's see. Let's discard five dot. Uh, five dot. Oh, you know what? We need to get rid of this nine crack. Okay, that's what I should have discarded is the nine crack. I should have kept the two and the five and discarded. Easily. Yep, Trish, that's what I forgot about the nine crack. Five bamboos. Okay, we're going to cheat. Mm. Oh, okay. Pwned wins over cheese. I cheat. They pwned. Pwned the pwned gets it. There's one more five bam out Six though, bamboo. and we could chi on an eight bam. Red dragon. <clears throat> okay. Bamboos. Now we need to. Let's just get rid of the nine crack now. Nine characters. <clears throat> Pwn's good. Eight bamboos. Okay, that's the second eight bam out. Eight bamboos. Oh, we'll chi. Six, seven, eight. <clears throat> And then we'll discard nine. Bam. Nine bamboos. And we're ready on a double weight. A four crack or a five crack will give us a win, and neither are Seven out. Characters. It's early in the game, though, so I'm hoping someone will discard it. Now, the player to my left One looks like they're in cracks, so I don't know if we're going to get four it from dots. them. Five dots should be safe. Five dots. We're looking for a four crack or a five crack. Three bamboos. We're ready to win. They're going for all pwned in mixed suits. Six bamboos. North is good. North win. So Trish, One you think you can play Richie? Does this has this helped? Three characters. Okay, no, we're that is not a roan. No. Boom. Oh, that's their roan. They were in cracks. Okay. They had our five. One, two, three, three, four, five, they won half flush. Honitsu. Alright, that that's it. That was the end of the the round. The Hanchen. Uh, they got the Uma bonus. We got second place again, and I did not deal in. So success. This was a good live stream. I think that should conclude it though. At this point, it's almost nine o'clock. I hope that if you're new to Richie Mahjong, that this live stream helped you gain a little bit of insight into what it's like to play the game. It's very challenging, very strategic, a lot of fun. Trish says, I, I think I am still a little too intimidated. I'll keep watching your videos before I try it. Okay, great. Be, now, Trish, have you, you seen the tutorial by Hana Yuri Uta? Get yourself some popcorn and a soda because it's three hours long. It's like watching a movie. But it's really good. It's really good, and it's it's kind of funny. He he's kind of quirky, so um, quirky and nerdy. He's nerdy, so if you if you consider yourself to be a nerd, you'll fit right in. And I do. I'm kind of a nerd, so uh, I enjoyed it very much. So I hope that you had a good time. Evelyn says her head is spinning. Yes, it's very complex, which is why it's fun. And uh, it, it is the emerging style worldwide, and I, it might be neck and neck with MCR, Mahjong Competition Rules. And uh, let's see, next, the next live stream, let's see, today is Sunday night. So the next live stream is going to be American Mahjong using National Mahjong League Rules for Beginners. And that will be Tuesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, next Sunday's live stream will be American Mahjong also. If you want to know more about the live stream schedule, go to my Facebook page. Also, you can go to my About page on my YouTube channel. So I, I hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, it was really great to have you all here with me. Thank you so much for coming to my live streams. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way, you'll get notification for when I post new videos or go live, and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.